in the time of building the song, um, the, the guys would have built those accents into there, and I think with the intention of being drum breaks, because we were very much about sharing the, the spotlight and uh, the other song, uh, Why Was Ed from the same album, same thing where we're sharing solo spots. But this was very much a matter of that, where our solo sections were really band sections, and this is a classic example of that. Getty and I are pretty much soloing through that guitar solo too. So when it comes to climax, and then I, I get a little uh, break in there, and really it would be just a straight run down the toms except for the Keith Moon influence, random crash symbol, you know, that just um, following his example, I just, I, again, took a completely different figure than anything he would have played, but applied that idea to it to make it fresh. And then, the, again, the triplet field, double bass drum ones across, and then um, I had just started to learn to use my left-handed crash um, to get those figures, and, and deciding what seems strange, and I don't think many drummers use the same symbol on both sides, but I, that's where I started to develop more facility where my left hand could play the same accents that my right hand would play and I started to play with that uh, um, ability and realized well I want exactly the same effect I want what I get here out of a strong bass drum beat in a 16th crash I want that there too so um, that's the perfect kind of figure where between uh, snare hits I go accent to accent left and I have the same symbols there and then it's just a syncopated pattern like that but uh, it's just has an innate excitement and I've said before parts that I make up are because they're exciting to play but also what I would be excited to hear you know there's a, a feedback loop like that that's uh, inevitable that, that what you like to hear and what you like to play are going to intersect in your idea of what exciting drumming is so that's the kind of frenetic thing that comes um, comes into play there is just just build and build into something crazy but this is the idea of crash cymbals uh, syncopated with bass drum beats across the bar line. Even the idea of it sounds exciting to me now, so I know that's why my mind went that way at the time, you know, something a little more spacious to do after the big triplets too. So that was a, a, of, of changing textures too, would have been um, in my mind in putting those together. And again, something that's, um, that never gets easy to play.